Hello everyone, welcome to my introduction to simulated annealing. <coughs> In this tutorial, we're going to learn uh, uh, briefly what the simulated annealing algorithm is and we're going to have Java implementation in an attempt to solve the traveling salesman problem. Um, the structure of this series is going to be as follows. As you can notice here, it's going to consist of only seven videos uh, and the content will, will be as follows. In this video, we'll have a very brief introduction or a br brief overview of the traveling salesman problem. I have uh, a separate tutorial that explain the TSP problem in slightly more detail. If, you, if you're interested, you can find it on my YouTube channel. We will also have a quick overview of what the global and local maxima and minima is when we have the when we have for example one solution and its value like i.e. when we evaluate the solution for example for the traveling salesman problem one solution would be a tour and the value would be for example the distance of that tour so if we plot that plot the solutions against their uh, their cost or their value or their distance then what the curve looks like and what is the global minima, what's the local minima, what's the global maxima and what's the local maxima and so on and so forth. After that we'll explain, we will explain what the uh, simulated annealing algorithm is, where the idea is coming from and how it works and then we will have three videos showing a Java implementation um, of using this simulated annealing algorithm to address the traveling salesman problem. I must say and pay tribute to Lee Jacobson, his website theprojectspot.com. Uh, the material here is adapted from there, so I really recommend you to visit this website. There's uh, really nice introductions there to, for example, simulated annealing, to um, genetic algorithms, and to neural networks, and so on and so forth. So let's begin. Uh, if you're familiar with the traveling salesman problem, let's think of a TSP problem with a large number of cities. Now, as we know, searching through a very large number of possible solutions to find the best or the optimal one can be an extremely difficult task. Well, if not practically impossible. This is because um, the number of possible tools can be extremely large, right? So the number of possible solutions can be too large even for the powerful computers that we have today. Um, in my introduction to the traveling salesman problem, I have a series of only three videos. In there, I show why it can take very, very long. And probably here, we will have a quick, uh, a quick look at that as well. So because of this, we may have to be happy with a solution that is close or good enough because going through all the possible solutions and evaluating all of them and choosing the best one i.e. the one with the minimum distance for the TSP problem that's nice but unfortunately it's not feasible because the number is too large as we mentioned the number of possible solutions is too large so we'll, we will settle for a close or good enough solution i.e. close enough to the optimal to the best solution right uh, Simulated annealing gives us the ability to do that instead of uh, iterating through all the possible solutions and evaluating them one at a time, right? So we need a technique or algorithm which can find a good enough solution in a reasonable amount of time. I have my own tutorial, uh, uh, my own introduction to genetic algorithms. You can find it on my YouTube channel if you're interested. So genetic algorithms is, you know, is they are one way of achieving that, of finding a good solution maybe. Uh, uh, especially to the traveling salesman problem. Rather, in this tutorial, we're going to learn and implement a simpler algorithm. So the idea is simpler, is uh, at least in my opinion, easier to implement than the, the genetic algorithms, and it will help us find a close to optimal solution. This algorithm is known as simulated annealing. Just a quick overview now of how difficult uh, it is to solve the traveling salesman problem um, imagine, this is a repeat slide from my introduction to the traveling salesman problem. Imagine we have a computer that can compute 1 million tours per second. I know our current day computers are much, much more powerful than this. And we have parallel compu computations and we have um, 
you know we can have clusters and things like that to you know have more computing power but still the traveling salesman problem if we have a large number of cities especially if the number of cities is in the hundreds and then in thousands then the number of permutations can be just too high to explore okay so imagine imagine just a simple example that we have one com a computer that can compute one million tours it can process one million tours per second um, as we know the number of possible tours if the number of cities uh, are n the number of possible tools will be n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 now where did this come from you have to go back to my introduction to the traveling system problem so you can understand why the number of tools is computed via this simple formula but anyway let's get um, a calculator okay and assume that for example the number of cities is 25 so 25 minus 1 is 24 24 factorial is this large number and then we divide by 2 so we can get the number of uh, the number of possible tours now if our computer can process 1 million tours per second then if we divide by 1 million then we get the number of seconds if we divide by 60 we get the number of minutes if we divide by 60 we get the number of hours if we divide by 24 we get the number of days if we divide by 365 I'm sorry excuse me we get the number of years you can see how many years it would it would take that computer to go over all the possible combinations of cities or all the possible tours um, notice here by the way we're speaking about the exhaustive search right the idea of going through all of the solutions evaluating them one by one and then keeping track of the best one i.e. the one that gives us the shortest possible distance you can see how many years it would take the computer so solving it if the number of cities this is just 25 if the number of cities is in hundreds or thousands then it becomes just impossible to solve right in real time i mean so we need a way of finding at least a good enough solution and see, uh, the simulated annealing algorithm is one way of achieving that so this is why the problem is interesting, of course, the traffic system problem, and this is why the simulated annealing algorithm is also interesting. I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.